Is that okay? Yeah, that nice stays well. Yeah. So I said we're going to do it a bit onto the rhomboid. Remember the rhomboid has a tendency to naturally lengthen. So it's probably in your interest to lengthen the pectoralis muscles yeah, before you do too much work on the rhomboid. Yeah, because potentially the rhomboids are tender. If you bring the head forward, anatomically, uh, we've got, let's say we've got C7 on this, more of a bump just there, and that's maybe T1. It could be the other way around. Yeah, so we say C7, T1, and then you've got T2, 3, 4, and 5, okay, inferior angle is T7. So the minor yeah, comes down, and then you've got major from uh, T2 down to T5, yeah, it comes down onto that medial border. So when you're thinking about, can you interlock your fingers behind your um, no, sorry, interlock your fingers like that. Yeah? Now if you pull your fingers apart, okay. So if you were to see fibers like this, yeah, going this way, yeah, and you can just see some fibers coming across there. So what fibers would these be this way? If you look at my fingertips, if you see the fingers like the striations like that, what would they be? It's easy. What's that? Major. What's that? Major. Major. Yeah. I don't know. Traps, which fibers? Relax. Yeah, so mid fibers of traps. Okay, would be going this way. Yeah, so rhomboids don't detach out way, do we? Yeah, so rhomboids will go that way. Yeah, so to get through rhomboids, you have to obviously go through the mid trap, and then the rhomboids are going to be more at that sort of angle coming down. Yeah, so you've got traps that way, rhomboid that way, and levator that way. Yeah, so it sort of like rotates as it comes through. Yeah, so levator, rhomboid. Mid trap, lower trap. Yeah, so they're all kind of almost like a like a half circle there. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, so think about where we are anatomically. What we're going to do with this one, we can work it in a few ways. Yeah, so we can move the, on the arms. Yeah, we can move the scapula, or we can move its cervical. So let's just try this one first of all, because it depends on what the patient's comfortable doing. Chin to chest, so slowly bring the chin down. Yeah, so you're obviously going to be opening the muscles, uh, sorry, opening the facets, yeah, when you bring the chin down. So that's going to encourage a little lengthening. But you can also chin to chest and a little bit of slump in. Slump in. There. Yeah, so nice. Where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call. I think I had a good band of Yagi once, but it's not like brilliant. Dog. Yeah. Dog, dog hunter. So clients don't know that it's actually a pair. Yeah. Okay, so slowly bring the chin to the chest, okay? And I'm just going to work through that. I find it easier to use my arm in this way, yeah? And my knees off. Okay, so I can start mid. Yeah, can you see I'm actually pushing that a little bit up? You feel okay with that? Mm -hmm. Does that feel okay? Yeah. yeah. And I can work down through that. Yeah, you know, if you're able to work down a little bit lower, you can. Okay, and off you go again. So I'm not using too much pressure. I normally say, always start off light yeah, and then increase. Yeah, never start off at max pressure. Yeah, because you'll find that people just naturally say, the pressure is too much, it's uncomfortable, and I don't really want to go back. Whereas at least if you start light and they ask you for more pressure, then fair enough. Yeah, okay? I always find the rugby players, the big lads, the rugby players, like the least pressure. Yeah, and then the strong petite women like Bonnie, like the firm pressure. Yeah, so don't uh, automatically expect the big 20 strong rugby lads. So like the pressure, you probably know that, yeah? They are babies, man. You massage your calves and you're like a, you just, a little bit of skin skate and on the calves, you're like, oh God, it's so sore. I'm like, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. And then you think about it, our life's easy. Yeah, and then you get like the big rugby lads girlfriend in, who's probably seven stone. Yeah, and she's like, are you using any pressure? I'm like, look at hell, you know. I can't use any more. <laughs> So that's the movement. That's probably quite nice, that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Working through. What we can do, if you retract the shoulders a little bit, yeah, or even let's say we want to focus on uh, the left side, so just relax the right side. So maybe retract a little bit, but not too much, because the muscle bulk, you know, if you retract a lot, the muscle's too bulky to get in. Yeah. So if you just retract a little, yeah, so you shorten the tissues, but now you're going to try to pro just bring your shoulder as in protract. There you go. Yeah, if you want to add in a rotation, you can. Yeah, so bring it back. Yeah. And off you go. Okay, so you can protract. And then ease off. Yeah. 
If you find that one awkward with the arm, yeah, you can just reach across the body. Yeah? So, so technique one could be just reaching, off you go. So you just reach. I think okay? Yeah. Yeah, so she's obviously reaching quite far, which is great. Yeah, and he's off. What I'm going to do now is reach, but rotate the trunk as well. Okay, so she's rotating the T-spine. Yeah, to come through that. Yeah, and he's off. I'm just going to change my angle now. Yeah, off you go. Yeah, I could obviously lean in a bit more, so there's more pressure coming through. Yeah, and working through that. Okay, good. Yeah, so you can work, so you can use the neck slump, you can use the arm, yeah, you can protract, yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. There's nothing wrong with both arms, yeah, lean, yeah, and that's with it, no, no, as in, so I'm leaning on you there, yeah, so slowly bring the arms forward, yeah, you know, it might save you a little bit of time, yeah, where you're working through, like so, good, and then he's off, does that feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, and off you go again. But if I'm honest, I quite like um, this sort of posture for, for them and for you. You know, I know it's maybe more relaxing, you know, typically the patient lies and then you just spend the 20, 30 minutes prone, supine, yeah, and almost asleep for now, and you do. But they're not moving at all, like you were doing a little bit of movement maybe. Yeah, but not really, it's all static. Yeah, whereas at least this one, you can identify things quite quickly. Yeah, you know, even like into the T-spine, just put your arms across your chest. Please, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. So you can just literally encourage rotation left and right. So we'll do this now, and then we'll add in some METs, okay, as we come in through that. So um, if we want to say rotate this way, yeah, so we rotate to the right, so from there. So you can encourage, you know, there's a few things you can do. You can just actually use your fingertips, yeah, and then just off you go. So then they, and you just glide in through, Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then come through again, so you can use fingertips. Like so, you can use the hand. Yeah, like so. But fashion, you're just working through that. Yeah? So you can just encourage T spine rotations. Because a restricted T spine is a problem with your neck. A restricted T spine is a problem with your lower back. Yeah, so maybe, you know, maybe this tends to get neglected. Or you might treat it, but it's all done properly. Yeah? Not many people will do. Treatments in, in rotations. Okay, want to have a go? All right.